Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Sebastian Kize and this is my channel. If you are a regular degila, a regular liker, a regular sharer, honey. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming back once again, baby. And if you are new here today, welcome to the channel. Make sure that you click that subscribe button, honey, so that you can join the regular degulas. As you can see by the title of this video today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I achieve the slick bun look with my 4BC hair. Um, so I do want to mention that my hair was relaxed. Um, I relaxed it last year, November. So that was the last time I, I, I relaxed it. And so it's been um, over three months. So that is why I want to just mention that it, w it will be a little bit easier to slip back. I also want to know that, I also want to let you guys know that I only use um, one product, which is this Got To Be Glue um, Ultra Glue Gel. It's a gel absolutely adore this you'll see this along the video but also this is going to be like a a voiceover video so i decided i'm just going to do everything and then give it like a little voiceover so make sure that you turn the volume up so you can hear and follow along if you're interested to achieve this slick bun look okay so it is slick back sorry and um it is one of my go-to things to do in between my braids i also like to do a, a slick bun up and a slick band down and sometimes like a side part um, but this center part is my go-to so I hope you guys enjoy this um, a few of you guys did ask me to put up a tutorial about this so I really hope you use it and you uh, make it yours if you do do this look make sure that you tag me on Instagram my handle is at let underscore spa underscore blossom all right guys enjoy the video Mwah. Okay guys, so as you can see, I just started this look. I am going to just get my hair ready and prep it a little bit. So right now it's a little dry, so I'm going to go in with some water using my spray bottle. And I'm just going to make sure that I hydrate my hair and really just get it, um, you know, damp enough to work with so that it's just easy to brush and um, use with the gel and just to, you know, manage it. Um, as you can see, my hair is a combination of 4B and 4C. Um, so, yeah, I just need to make sure that I always hydrate it and make sure that it's wet before I start any process. Now I'm going in with my um, comb or my brush. So I actually use this brush uh, to detangle my hair when I have conditioner. But I also love it for doing this style. It's actually a detangling brush. Um, so I really enjoy it. It just isn't harsh on my hair. And I use it all the time. So um, this is actually just a little hack if you have a detangling comb. So yeah, this is my hair before I start this process. Um, as you can see, I still, I have a little bit of growth as well. So yeah. Okay, honeys so now i am uh opening up my center part which is just the line uh in the middle there and i'm just using my uh comb to do this uh this line doesn't have to be perfect but i always just make sure that it's evenly um separated in the middle and now i'm going to go in and kind of section out the back of my hair using a thicker comb um so this is going to help me because i really want to make sure that i don't have any bumps and i get that you know slick look with no like dodgy areas on my hair not getting gelled up you know so i'm making sure that my hair is sectioned and then i tie the hair at the top as you can see using a scrunchie and then i'm gonna just brush this hair a little bit more with my detangling brush uh before i add the gel so yeah this brush guys has saved my life i really really love it uh, to use it both for detangling and just to brush out my hair when i'm doing styles like these so now i'm going to just 
take my got to be glue um ultra glued rather and i use like a, a generous amount okay um i actually need to get another one and i just put that in the section at the back and then i'm going to just go in and massage it um and also just make sure that i get the size of my hair uh as well as the back but i will be going back um later on and just adding more gel and then i go in with my detangling brush again just to make sure that it gets spread out evenly and then I'm going to go in with my scrunchie and tie my hair. Now I'm going to repeat the same process by sectioning out more hair. Um, making sure that I'm just making it even as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. But this just makes sure that you're layering the gel and you're not just using a bunch of gel at the top of your hair and not getting the bottom parts or the parts underneath um the top so you gotta make sure that you section it out so you can get that slick look you know so i'll go back in with my thicker comb brush it out um and once again go in with my got to be glue and yeah got to be glued wow got to be glue gel <laughs> Okay, so now what i'm doing is actually adding the section that i just did uh with the section that i started with so i'm untying that first ponytail and um making one big ponytail at the back um i'm actually going to use the same scrunchie i'm not adding another scrunchie at this point um i think the gel has done a really great job to really slick the hair back um and then i'm just gonna go in with a little bit more gel because i saw that i still had some hair that you know looked a little dry that needed a little bit more gel so i'm going in a little bit more with some gel and i'm going to just add it and spread it out as much as i can on the sides um and then i'm gonna brush it out again with my um detangling brush Okay, so now i'm going uh to the most important part um which is the top and as you can see i'm just just making sure that my line is still straight i think it was a good thing to start off by doing the line so that i have a guide and my hair um is sectioned out well so now i'm brushing it through again with my thicker comb and i'm um, just lying the hair down just to give me an idea of how i want it and then i'm going to add a generous amount of the glue of the gel <laughs> and just spreading it out i'm going to go in um on both sides and just massage it down and then i'm going to start off with my thick comb brush it out a comb it out rather and then um after that i'm going to go in with my detangling one um when i see that i the, the gel is really in there and there aren't any lumps and bumps um and then i'm going to go in and just add this hair to the ponytail but this time i'm going to go in with two scrunchies uh so that i have a better you know better tighter ponytail and just more control um of all the hair and then at this point all my hair is slicked back uh using these two ponytails
Okay, so now I'm adding uh, more of the got to be uh, glue gel on my hair, making sure that I focus at the back of my hair and just also at the top and also on my edges, making sure that I just apply a generous amount everywhere. Um, and then I'm going to go in with this brush and just brush my hair down and just make sure that um, all the gel is spread out evenly and I get that slick look. And this is just like the final kind of, you know, um, brushing that happens to make sure that the gel is evenly spread out and the hair is as slick as possible and I go in on both sides with the brush and then I'm gonna just focus on my edges Okay guys, so now I'm just focusing on my edges, making sure that I'm going over um, each one, taking the time to just get the look that I want. I'm also just using this comb and my fingers just to slick the edges back and so it just, you know, merges nicely with the hair. And yeah, this is pretty much the final step. Now I'm just setting my hair with my silk duck. This is honestly just like my little hack. I actually used my old bonnet and I just cut off the rubber, or not the rubber, the elastic part. And then I used that as my little duck, especially when I do these hairstyles. So I'm just gonna set it and I'm gonna go do my makeup off camera and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys the final look. I am back. I've just gone off camera to just do a little bit of makeup and um, now I'm going to do the big reveal after doing my makeup. I took about 20 minutes and yes, very happy with it. It's still a little damp though because um, it's cold in like China obviously. But yeah, and then at this point I like to put the rest of the hair in like a mini bun like this just like twist it and put it in a bun and then I do like to use a hair piece this is just like one of my tracks that I put that I tied to a scrunchie and then I just tie that around the small bun and then I just brush this hair and then I'm going to twist it around neatly. Alright guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed this um, hit. Let me come a little closer so you can see. There you go. Alright. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed making it. This is my first hair tutorial of any kind. So I'm really stoked that I did it. Um, and I did a little makeup look. So now I'm just going to go to work. Um, the kids are going to be like, hi, bo. At work because I never wear makeup, makeup at home at work because we do a lot. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click that subscribe button, honey, so that you can join the regular regulars. We are on the road to 3,000 subscribers, so please make sure that you share, like, comment, and just do the most for me. Thank you so much, my loves. I will see you next time. Mwah.